So let's write this down. P cubed equals g to the sixth. And the question is, what is g in terms of p? Um, let me write these answer down. Let's answer choices down as well. Square root of p, p, p squared, and p to the fourth. Okay. So the question is, what is g in terms of p? So think about that. The question just wants g. That's it. The question is saying, what is the value of g in terms of p? So right now, I have g to the sixth. And what I want to try to figure out is, how can I rewrite g just by itself? And it's actually pretty simple. So let me write it a little bit bigger over here. Uh, equals g to the six, right? Like I said, I just want g by itself, so I want, to, I want to try to figure out a way to get rid of that six. Remember, there's already always an imaginary one there, right? We just don't write that one. So if I'm moving over here, multiply this by its reciprocal. Because if I multiply six times one sixth, that actually gives me one. So that'll cancel out. But now if I'm multiplying this x one by one sixth, I have to do the same exact thing here. So I multiply this by one sixth. So then that will be three times one is three. So there's an imaginary one down there, right? So let me just rewrite that over here. So one over six, so that should give you three over six or one half. So my final answer here should be P to the one half equals G. So what is G in terms of P? G is P to the one half power. Now, obviously that's not in the answer choices written like that. Process of elimination will tell me my answer is A, but one thing to keep in mind is square root of P is actually the same exact thing as P to the one half. So just a little bit of fun fact, square root of a number is the same as that number being raised to the one half power. So square root of P and P to the one half, they both are the same thing and that's why my answer here is A.